What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be about vlogging with a GoPro. I think. I'm not sure, but my go-to lens on my Panasonic uh, camera is... If you look at my two recent vlogs, the, there's some auto-focusing issues. So I'm going to ship that out. And I thought that instead of vlogging with my G7X, if I need to, I'm going to try it with my GoPro. Because uh, the size and all that is just convenient. So. I got this new case. I'm going to do a quick unboxing. I'll fast forward through that because I don't want to bore you with that. And then we'll take a look at the uh, new vlogging setup, okay? This is the uh, GoPro. It's for our GoPro Hero 4, supposedly. It's an aluminum protective uh, housing unit. Okay, so it brings, um, looks like a UV filter, lens cap, and here's the actual housing. That's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out here. Let's put the uh, GoPro in it. And from, I've already read the online, this screw, you screw it on. And this will prevent it from falling back out. So you got that there like that. It secures the camera in place. So this is a UV filter included. I wasn't aware that they brought that. You guys can see there, 37 millimeter UV filter. That's pretty cool. Protects the lens. I bought this uh, GoPro adapter. I didn't buy the GoPro brand, just trying to save money. This one was about nine bucks on Amazon, so I thought I'd give it a, a, a try. It's got uh, good reviews, and this is uh, to hook up my uh, Rode mic to the camera. So let's take a look at that as well. Also, uh, this brings a quarter hole, a one quarter hole screw here where you can uh, mount it on the tripod. It also brings this adapter, so you can put it on like your GoPro stick, whichever brand you have, you know how these go on there. And it includes the screws, so you can screw those on there as well. And then it has the cold shoe mount that goes up top. So this is where we're gonna mount the uh, microphone. There you have it guys. You could actually mount the microphone here on the side if you like as well, but uh, it's pretty cool. So let me show you what else I use when I vlog. This is my go-to uh, tool. Okay, so this is what I always use on, with my G7X or even my Panasonic. This is called the Verizoom Stealthy Go. They sell these in different colors. It's waterproof, it's made of uh, like some composite. It's an excellent, excellent uh, support or stabilizer, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's take this little rig out for a spin and try some vlogging, see what it's like to vlog with the GoPro. So we're gonna switch over to the GoPro now. Okay, I am recording in 1080p, super view, field of view on the GoPro. And we have a couple issues right off the bat. Um, as you can see, we have some vignetting around the corners and that's due to the UV filter on the camera. I'm gonna take that off. And um, so if you're gonna record with the uh, super view, field of view, you gotta take this off. Otherwise, you're gonna have vignetting around the corner. Issue number two, the wind muff, the wind cat or dead cat of the microphone is in the frame because it's so wide open, or excuse me, it's such a wide field of view. So <clears throat> I can either take that off if I need to record in super view, or just get a different dead cat or for the mic well that's not so big i'm using the road video micro and that has a pretty big uh dead cat so that's why you can see it in, the, in this frame so i'm gonna switch over right now so you guys can see what it looks like in the wide field of view i switched over to the uh wide angle view it's no longer on super view i put back on the uh uv filter and in wide angle view you can't see the vignetting on the corners but you can still see the uh wind muff so let me take that off real quick. 
Okay, so I took the wind muff off and earlier I tried recording without the wind muff, but I was outdoors and it didn't sound good. So as you can see, you can't see the wind muff now. Uh, and this is wide angle view. I'm gonna switch over now to the medium field of view and then the narrow field of view. So now we have the medium field of view, which I think is pretty good. All right, guys, so this is what the uh, narrow field of view looks like on the GoPro. And really, this video is not about these views. I just decided to throw that in as a tip because of the housing itself. Like I said earlier, on SuperView, you'll get the vignetting on it if you have the UV filter on it. And the uh, microphone you can, will be in the frame. So that's one of, a couple of things I don't like about this. But really, I don't think I'd, I'd use SuperView to vlog. It'd either be wide view or medium view, um, just to keep the fisheye effect, or not to have the fisheye effect on the uh, vlog. But uh, I don't know, you guys let me know what you guys think. All right, so the purpose of this short vlog is just to test it out. I've never vlogged with a GoPro, and um, yeah, I think it's a great alternative to sometimes you don't wanna carry a bigger camera around, you just wanna take something real light and compact like this. Obviously, there are several ways you can put this uh, rig together. This is my preference because I like using the Verizoom uh, Stealthy Go. Uh, but, and I like using a microphone. Audio is extremely important to me. I hate watching videos where you can't even understand what people are saying because the audio sucks. So I don't mind walking around with a mic on top and this is a very compact mic anyways. Um, so it doesn't matter. Regardless, if you're vlogging with a mic or not, everybody looks at you because you're talking to a camera. So it doesn't make a difference to me. <laughs> Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful, uh, especially for you guys that have like a GoPro and never use it to vlog. This is a good setup. I'll put all the equipment that I uh, use for this video down in the description. Um, keep in mind, it's an inexpensive way if you already have a, a GoPro to put up a nice little rig, you know, if you wanna go, go out and uh, start vlogging with your GoPro. So also, if you have any suggestions or ideas for my channel, what type of videos I should make or anything, they're always welcome. Uh, please comment down below as well. And until next video, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.